Hello, everyone. And we are starting our painting sessions in modern art styles. And we are starting, of course, with Impressionism. Here, as you can see, there are Claude Monet paintings uh, that is the father of Impressionism. And of course, his famous water lilies that we are going to be doing today. And in future lessons, we're going to go through other styles. Um, but now a very little but uh, important story about the art history. Um, so let's imagine this is the timeline. And let's say we are here now. No. And let's say somewhere here, it was the, the pyramids of Egypt. So like really ancient prehistoric times. Here in between, uh, there are medieval times, there is Renaissance, Baroque, so all, all kind of different styles that are all, also interesting to, uh, to learn. Medieval times. The Renaissance, I'm sure you heard about uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, yeah. And the modern art styles, they, let's say, live somewhere here, yeah. So, as we told, approximately, of course, it's not that precise, yeah. And here we have this bunch of styles, lots of experiments. Yeah? And here already for now, we get contemporary art. Contemporary art. Yes, yeah? so everything that's already modern is considered to be here. Yeah? So this period, modern or modernism, you can hear also sometimes this word. Yeah. It started with some one very interesting um, event. So what happened till now, till this moment, more or less, it was like realism. Yeah? Of course, it had also different styles changing from time to time, but still the objective was if you go to the uh, painter, you want your portrait yeah, and he paints it. And what happens here, the photo camera was invented. And it was like, oh, oh. so the painters, they said, what shall we do? Because um, for them, it was very serious. Now, many people can go and just take a photo. It's quicker, it's cheaper. And of course, it's more precise. Like you can't compete with the with photography in, in its, how it captures the shape. Of course, it's precise and painting will never be that precise. So the painters were like a bit, hmm. And so from here, this group of painters that said, okay, we need to make a revolution. We need to think something new. So impressionism, these paintings that we're doing today was born. And they said, okay, we cannot compete with the shape, but we can compete with the color because the photography was still black and white. So they said, okay, we're gonna, you know, um, be better uh, in, in colors. And they started to study a lot. They also learned color theory and they were the ones who said, okay, the shadows actually are not black. The shadows can be purple, blue, green, and all kinds of colors. Yeah. And they started to make not that realistic paintings. They started to make like impressions. They started to make those bunch of colors and spots and feelings and they were not really popular in the start. Like nowadays, I think this is one of the beloved art styles, but uh, they had really to fight uh, their way up for um, 
for the people to like them. Yeah? So this is a little story uh, about um, the change of art styles. Each art style, when it's changing, it's because something happens. Yeah, it's not just because someone wants, it's really something happening in the world. So the artists, they kind of react on that. And cool, and Claude Manet, uh, one of the famous artists of this Impressionism art style. And I think he painted more, definitely more than a thousand, maybe even more paintings with water lilies. By the end of his life, he would live in the house with a water pond, and there will be also this little bridge. And he would paint it, these water lilies, in all kind of um, ways. And uh, he would make also huge paintings, like several meters, maybe three, four meters high and, uh, and wide. Huh? So today we're going to make a fun, fun painting inspired by Claude Manet water lilies. So what? We're going to need a tape. Hope you have girls a tape. Yeah. Cool. Cool, you have a tape, very nice. So what we're going to do with the tape, we're going to create a bridge. So here at the paper, we're going to stick the tape. So it preserves our paper being white. Yeah, maybe don't stick it too hard so later it doesn't ruin paper too much. So I'm starting with a, like one piece in the middle. And then I'm going to do like the diagonals, yeah, the sides. And I'm going to have two rows. So um, maybe even I'm going to put a bit, a bit higher. Very careful. I'm going to put a bit higher so then I have more space at the bottom. And um, and then I can have water lilies at the bottom. Yeah. You can have. Are we doing this landscape or portrait? Because the po the painting next to you <clears throat> is in portrait, and the and the, your paper is in landscape. Nice. I was expecting this question. Thank you, Juliet. Um, you are the artist. You can choose. And here, exactly, you have. As you see the verticals, you say, mm, I actually like the vertical shape more. Go ahead. And I'm going to do the landscape just um, for experiment, just to see which one looks better. Yeah. So this is also something I would always, always encourage you, girls as artists, is taking decisions. This is one of the most important tasks of paint. I'm using scissors to make it a bit more nicer. Yeah, so I'm one stripe the second, so it's like the, the space in between the bridge and then the diagonals. And then I can also do the verticals. Um, take your time to, let's say, create the design for your bridge. Maybe it's going to be also a bit, I don't know, wider or um, yeah, really, really. So here I have, I have the stripes, so two horizontal diagonals to the sides. And what else I'm going to do? 
I'm going to do like the vertical lines this way. Yeah, so then uh, it gives a better feeling of bridge. So I'm done. Nice. Let's wait for Ellie to have her. Um, no, I'm done. Cool. Okay. Time to move for the colors. And we're going to start with yellow. You remember yellow is kind of very the color that we're starting very often with because it's the lightest. Uh, then we're going to have, let's say, light and dark green, somewhere in between. The bottom, we can make something between green and blue. Yeah, so basically, yellow, green, and blue colors. Huh? And later, afterwards, we might use, um, we have pink color for the water lilies or purple as well, let's say. Yeah. And today going to be one more, let's say, little innovation or something I think we haven't done yet. We are not using brushes to paint. We're going to paint with fingers, finger painting. So prepare your colors at the palette. You might also grab maybe some um, napkin paper towel, you know, all ready to have it with you. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So if you have only one green, and of course, let's say you can mix it with yellow and have it lighter. If you already have darker ones, then it just makes your life easier. You don't have to mix, right? But basically, so I have light green, dark green, yellow, and I mean, you can also choose some of your favorites. I really like emerald color. So emerald maybe before the bottom. It goes really well with the blue. I'm ready. Nice. You ready as well? Cool. Thumbs up. So let's start. Basically, all you need your finger. Just be brave, dip it in. So we're starting with yellow. Yeah, we remember yellow is kind of. And just start dipping. And, and you will see. So you can start, uh, when you just start, of course, it gives you very bright spots, but then just continue tapping because uh, also like those pale spots are also good for us. You can also like, move your fingers so it doesn't have to be only the dots it can be also just like some areas that i can have covered and like i mean pretty much enough and you can also of course dip your finger into the water if you feel like ah it's too too dry uh, yeah The bottom are also making some yellow, maybe not. I mean, can't be afraid making it too much because we know yellow is easy to be covered. But still, general idea maybe at the top a bit more sunnier, and at the bottom since we have um, first the water, second also the shadow under the bridge, so we can have this bit division. I'm ready. Nice.
So basically, if your finger is still yellow, you kind of can go next, choose the light green color, and you start also doing some uh, already some like bushes, already a bit thinking with tapping. Uh, can we proceed, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, super. Yeah, and I'm taking. Don't forget also like to move a bit your finger around. You will notice ah, it might give like different circles. So you don't have them all the same, like in the size of your finger, but like I get the paint and then maybe a bit to the side, my, my finger. Yeah. Also, don't worry if, let's say, don't worry about yellow disappearing. You can also, of course, get it back, but still try to save some yellow. Yeah, we know uh, this first layer, when still the paper is white, it's kind of, uh, it's good to keep it clean, this first layer, then the painting looks more. Or feel free to jump to darker green, then maybe back to the lighter one. Yeah, I already have two fingers in a game. It's like having yeah, two brushes, so you don't need to wash it too often. I'm basically not using the water. So only maybe if you feel like, ooh, too dry, you just, you can make your finger a bit, a bit wet. But I feel the spots, they look nicer with them um, being a bit more dry. So here, of course, the composition is pretty much free. Just go with the flow. So the only thing is I was telling maybe using dark green and maybe even a bit some blue because it goes dark under the bridge. Yeah. Okay, now maybe it was a bit too much straight ahead, so dark, but still like... So it's um, so what was like interesting also with the Prussianism, like when you look at his paintings, they still look realistic in comparison, of course, with the all the next styles, let's say the um, fauvism and no expressionism, cubism, surrealism, like. Like the further mo modernism goes, the less realistic it looks. Um, but since Impressionism was the pure start, 
So you can kind of see, yeah, pretty much like the landscape, you can understand everything what's there. It was just really about the use of colors and using like more these spotty techniques. Yeah, so um, if before it wouldn't consider it to be well that you see the brush strokes, yeah, the brush strokes wouldn't be cool. But Impressionism, like the opposite, they would have those uh, very artistical brush strokes. So I took now the blue and I'm making kind of the lines. So somewhere here in between, I took the light blue and just like those longer lines, it gives a little, little bit the feeling of water. Yeah. So you can try as well. And what's fun with the finger painting, you can never get the same painting twice. If the brush it's, I mean, if you really want, it's doable. But here I think, Yes, so at the bottom, so under the bridge, I was mo moving my finger more like to the left, to the right. So basically, it's a mix of stripes and spots. Hmm. And then, of course, you can also go back to the up if you feel. Okay, and then you are the artist, you decide when it's time to stop. Once you say or you feel 
Okay, good enough. And I would say it would be the way that, so we finish with all the yellow, green, and blue. Then we can wash our fingers. And then we will be taking the tape off the, our bridge very carefully. And then we can take the brush, let's say, and add the water lilies. Yeah. So, because we also want um, our uh, painting to be more dry when we add water lilies. Yeah, so it doesn't mix too much. And I'm ready to take the tape off, and so was Atty. Oh. That was Julia. Awesome. I was waiting for you. So let's go together, taking off the tape. So carefully, slowly. If you feel the tape starts tearing the paper, then you just stop and start taking the tape off from the other side. Yeah. First, I'm taking the vertical ones. Logically, they are on top. So even if the tape, let's say, scratches a bit your paper, that's fine. I mean, it won't be that visible. The most important, it's of course not.
Mm, slowly, slowly, the magic appears. My bridge is nice, Juliet. Did it all go well with your tape? Yes, very good. So the rest, you can actually choose. So do you want to make water lilies? Maybe you have some other ideas what you would like to add to the bridge. Maybe you want a cat walking on the bridge, you know? Um, feel free to... Uh, add any details you want. I actually like the idea of the cat. Maybe I'm gonna add a black cat walking on the bridge. But let's still do the water lilies. So in case you want to do them, you know how to do them. Not hard at all. I will take a bit of pinkish and uh, violet. Yeah, so like purple and... Um, and basically you need to sit on top like thicker uh, paint and you don't really need to move a lot. So it's a little bit as if you, you work with a palette knife. You can even, if you have one, you can take one. And uh, Also, white is good in between. So mix, mixing uh, pink and you can have white. And uh... This is what mine looks like. Show me, show me. Ooh, stylishy. I like it. Yeah, so I say we can add a little bit uh, water lilies at the bottom. So it looks more fresh. Yeah. Uh, also be sure it's um, it's dry enough at the bottom. If it's too wet, give it a bit of time. Mine's too wet. Okay. I mean, acrylics they're drying fast. It's gonna be. Hmm? Uh, also, what's, let's say, important with um, placing water lilies, remember the um, perspective rules. So at the bottom, we place bigger water lilies that are, they are closer to us. And uh, the more far away, the more thin they look, just like little stripes. Yeah. So you see here, like... Close, I place even the big one. Yeah, and there I'm just trying to do as thin as I can with my brush. Yeah, and basically I've used pink and then just adding maybe some or purple or white in, in, in there. So just somewhere or a bit lighter, darker. A bit of reddish also would be good actually. A bit of it's red, but just like dots will give also a little, um, like a little accent, you know, as if there is a flower or something. 
it's also because uh, the with so much green red is the detail always look nice we have no white well as a real artist you should deal with what you have it's um not always artists have all materials they would like to have. So, be right to in get through. Okay, maybe mine was already a bit too much to water lily, so also not overdoing. Yeah. And I'm gonna do the cat. So I'm taking black. And I'm taking one of my smallest brushes. And I'm gonna do the cat black. Are we gonna paint the bridge? Uh, no, I'm leaving it white, but interesting idea, actually. Hmm. What would be a suggestion? What, co what color would you put? I was gonna do mine like blue-brown. Mm-hmm. Actually, maybe, actually, you're right. Maybe let's, I'm going to do just, I'm going to still leave most of it white, but maybe just with a thin brush, I'm going to do some just lines or like accents. It, it'll be like the shadow of the, um, Nice. I love how girls you are creative with ideas. So you remember the the painter's name? Claude Monet. Ooh, good memory. Nice one. Yeah. Generally, it's not a must to remember all of them, but. Um, just some of them are so famous that. And in which country would he, he uh, was living or he was from? Do you know approximate? Or maybe, because I haven't told it, yeah. I forgot to mention. All this style, all this impressionism, it was born in France. Paris at those times were the capital of art and all the artists were trying to get in there 
because it was the place to be if you want to become a great artist because they were all there sharing their ideas and yeah i want to try painting my bridge with a palette knife oh i see someone is really creative after the summer break Well, thank you, Juliet. That was a good idea to paint the bridge. Kind of like it. And did you enjoy painting with fingers? Yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> I agree. Even me, already in my age, I still enjoy it. And actually, it's not only like kids or, or uh, things to do. Uh, there are some famous artists that paint only with finger and they make some really impressive paintings. Okay, time for the cat. I like uh, when making like imp interpretations of famous artwork. So of course we take it, we, we get inspired about it. 
I learned about it, but it's always fun to add something, um, a little personal touch. I'm really happy with the today's result. I'm done. Amazing. Yes, let me see. Oh, that's cool. I love the colors you've added. I'd say that's a real Impressionism painting. 100%. Nice. You can also add a signature of yours somewhere in the corner, maybe. So basically also how you assign artworks, you, you invent your signature, can be just, you know, two letters of your name and your surname. And usually artists live a year. Yeah, so I'm going to show you. So if, if it feels hard to do with the brush, you can definitely take a pen, a pencil and, uh, you know, to have it. And... And I also like to find somewhere uh, a spot for the signature, so it's not too big, not too visible. Um, and But generally also the corner works nice. So I'm gonna do my signature now and I'm gonna show you. So here in the corner, pretty much not visible. And we take a look, but here in the corner, so I've signed Evie and then I put the year at the bottom. Not too big, but it's there and um, huh? mine is done. Awesome. Can you lift it or if it's not too wet? Uh. Ah, whoa, you went for the vertical format. Nice one. Good job, girls. All right, before we finish today, I have one more question to you. So let's move the impressionism a bit to the side. Let's get to our list. So next time we're gonna explore Post impressionism. Yeah, so post means after. So already something different. And there is one painter who is like the most famous of this art style. Maybe you can guess who this painter is. And that's him actually. Uh, hmm? Can you guess those artworks? Oh, I think that's Wait, yeah, that's Van Gogh. Yeah, of course. I'm. It was easy for you. So next time we're gonna be exploring post-impressionism. 
we're gonna do something with Vincent Van Gogh art style and yeah just have fun as always next time cool girls was happy to see you and then till the next time bye thank bye. you thank you as well see you next time